Hey everyone, welcome back to Minecraft on the PS4. I'm Jeppo, and right now we're up at the Zombie Spawner XP farm because I wanted to do some renovation up here to make it more efficient. So far, we've been waiting up there for the zombies to spawn. Once they've spawned enough, we go all the way down there to kill them, which is a bit of a hassle. It's not too bad, but I thought we could do this in a better way. So what I've done is set up this, dug out this area. The spawner is just up there. So at the moment they're dropping down just behind this wall. They're dropping all the way down there. We will open this up so that they come in here. We'll have to block this off of course. And we will make it so that we can drop the zombie villagers down into this section. So as they come across here, the villagers we can drop down there to cure them. The other zombies will continue on and drop down this part and we will set up an automatic uh, weakener, what would you call that, I don't know, something to bring the health down so that it's easy to kill. The problem is zombies will wear armor so they don't all have the same level of uh, protection. So we can't bring them all down to the one punch kill but we can bring them down a fair bit. Uh, through here we'll be doing the redstone. I'll have to open this up a bit more so we can get in behind so we can set up some pistons and set it up so that we can put blocks here, there, there and that's the idea. I also want to make this a nicer looking place instead of just all the stone. But that's the plan. So I'll get to work, I think, and uh, come back when I've got a bit more done. Okay, while we're waiting for me to finish with the renovation work over at the was it the zombie spawner over there, I thought we'd have a look at a couple of things that have changed since the last recording or things that I've just done off camera. The chicken farm here, I did on camera, but you can see it's working well. There's four, four small chickens in there now. And I've actually got a couple of stacks worth of cooked chicken from it. One interesting thing is I got an egg. So what, hap what must have happened is a chicken came into here, grew up, and before the lava came out and killed it, the egg went down and got transported to the base over there. So just interesting, something I wouldn't expect to happen, but it did, and I don't think it's going to happen much more. And we're going to, we're going to put a shelter over that. I think put it in like a house or something, just so it doesn't look ugly like this. We've also moved the farm over here. See, I've got two cows. I've only got one pig at the moment because every time I go out looking for pigs, I can't find them. Or if I do find them, I haven't got carrot or anything to lure them back. I hate that sound. And we've also got the sheep farm going. I've got all 16 different colors here. Uh, one interesting thing that happened, I don't know how it happened, these sheep here got switched. Like one of the sheep from there got moved into here and one from here moved in here. Because I was up here one day and there's only one sheep in that one and three in this. The next day there was two here and two there. So somehow they switched places. And I've got all the different colors here so I can use the wool for building or whatever, probably a lot of carpet. And see I just did the simple carpet trick here so I didn't have to worry about gates getting in or out. Okay and of course I got the trophy for the having all the different colors. Alright, next thing, we'll head over the base and have a look at what we've done over there. Okay, so not a lot done in here. I still have to do all the floor. My son's been nagging me about changing the floor. We've got rid of the pond that was here and all the animals, the things that are growing. The animals that were over here have all been moved or um, disposed of, we could say. We do still have a few horses, mules around. This guy in particular, he keeps going down here. 
I don't know how or why, but he'll get down into there and get stuck. He can't come back up, so I have to ride him out. Right, but over here we have a sort of automatic furnace setup, just a basic one. You put the things in the top here, whatever you want to cook or burn, goes down into the hopper and into the furnace. Once it's finished cooking, it goes into the hopper below it and comes out into this chest here. For the fuel, we just put the fuel in here and see we've got a ton of charcoal in here now, all from the uh, tree farm. That goes down in here, fills this up, you can see, full of charcoal and then that automatically goes into here. So it's quite a simple setup, quite basic. My son is actually the one who built this. I just gave him the instructions like put the chest there, put the hopper there, put the furnace there and he did it all and he understands it all so it's quite a basic setup. You just come in here with whatever you have and so like you can throw the oak wood that automatically goes down out of there into the hopper once it reaches the hopper it'll go down there and you can put like after I've been mining I'll put stacks of iron and gold in there and it'll just feed through and this is all I really need at the moment I do have a couple of other furnaces still here that I can use but so far I haven't needed them this has been enough it just goes while I'm off doing other things and when I get back it's all finished Okay, so now there's just a couple more things that we've changed outside. Okay, so here I've just set up a really basic snow farm. Just stand in here, get the shovel and whack away, just collects, it goes really quick. The only thing is it does fill up my inventory very quickly and I've been putting them in here oh okay I've apparently moved it all from here this was full before so yeah. either me or my son have moved everything over into the base there the store and right, this block here a lot of the farms I've seen they use a fence post there but for the life of me I couldn't get a fence post to sit there so what I had to do is put the block up here with a piston behind it, get the piston to push it into place, then I took the piston away, and that wedges the snow golem in there, so he's stuck up onto that half slab, and I can just mine away from the snow there. This one over here was my son's attempt at making one, although I don't know if he's really serious about doing it, or he just wanted to play around and <laughs> capture a snow golem but you can see the way he's set it up he's not getting snow on there I'm not sure why I thought he was before maybe there was an update I didn't notice and it got changed anyway there's just one more thing that I've set up over here let's just run over okay so this is our ice machine I do have where is it? I've got a uh, silk touch. That one's silk touch. One I haven't used that one, but that's the one I've been using. It clears it out nice and quickly. And I'll just do this actually, just so you can see how quickly it works and how it goes. Okay, if I did it properly, I would have sped that bit of film up. So hopefully that worked and it looked, it was quicker than it actually took. So I don't want you to wait around too long watching. All right, and, okay, let me explain. There's water under here going all the way along on two of the sides. It's being held back by pistons. So once I've mined all the ice, I just flick the switch, releases the pistons, the water goes in and fills up and it really doesn't take long for it to start freezing in fact see one start to freeze over there already and I'd say probably one in day game would freeze up the whole area 
Okay, it's starting to get dark, so I'll probably head over to the XP farm now, and we'll see if I finished it. Okay, so it looks like I've managed to complete this. I don't remember, it must have been in the dream. But anyway, you can see the zombie. Yeah, the zombies are coming through here from the spawner, which is just up the other side of that wall there. Drop down into the water. This water brings them along. Then they get caught in this one. They drop down in here. This lever here. Oh, well, there's a parade coming through here at the moment. This part is actually for the... It's just a glitch. Can ignore that. For the zombie villages, if I see one I can block that, so the zombies get stopped there, the zombie villager drops down here, which I haven't caught one yet, there's been a couple but I've been testing out the crusher there, and then once the zombie village is there, you can see he could drop down there, I fix this back, yeah there could be a problem, and that blocks it off there, so the zombies keep going straight across there, you'll see sometimes they fight, I'm not sure what they're fighting for, they shouldn't be able to see me. I'm not sure. But anyway, then we have this section. I can block this off. So once I've got plenty in there, I just block this off. Stab them with this. This squashes them. I've been fiddling with the settings to adjust it so they get almost dead without actually killing any. So you can see none of them died there. If I add one more block, I'll show you that in a moment. But most of them... If they don't have armor, it's a one-shot kill. But unfortunately, a lot of the zombies now have armor, so it does take a couple of hits to kill them. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Let that open, more can drop in. But in here we have the mechanisms. Just for the simple blocking, the pistons, it's just a simple... Well, simple piston setup. The lever out there will turn on the redstone which turns on the piston which just pushes the block out and blocks them so they can't drop down. This one's the same sort of thing. For this one it's on by default. I've used the redstone lamp, redstone torch sorry, there to turn it on all the time so it's blocking it so the zombies will go right along to the end to drop off. That redstone torch though has turned this redstone torch off which is what is powering this piston so when I flick the switch behind that redstone torch there it will turn this piston off bringing it back and it will turn this redstone torch on and that piston on locking them off right, the more complex thing is the crusher well it's not that complex it's just a timer mechanism uh, if you've seen these, a lot of people use them. I think Etho was the one who originally came up with this design. You've got the two hoppers feeding into each other. This one, I work out 23 seems to be about right for the zombies that have no armor. If I wanted to kill or weaken the ones with armor more, I'd have to put more blocks in there. And that would mean the ones without armor would get killed. So when I press the button there, these, it will, has this way. it turns this piston off, which will bring the redstone over here, which unlocks this hopper, so everything in this hopper will then move over to here. Once they've all moved over here, it will push, the, turn this piston back on and push it back over there, or actually turn this piston off, is actually I think how it works. So then the redstone block will move back over here, locking this hopper and turning off the piston. So once this moves over, it will power this repeater, goes up, powers the piston there, and that piston pushes out. So as soon as I press this button, I'll just block it off so more don't drop in there. You'll probably see some dying this time. Yeah. So I can easily kill them if I just want to clear it. But you don't get the XP when you do it like that. Okay, so when I press that, the, it changed, it moved all the things from one hop to the other and then back again. And that's the length of time that it was crushing them. And then here, they've been weakened. The ones without the armor are only a one hit kill, mostly. 
Okay, he's yeah. got a couple there. He must have been lucky. And the ones with armor, they're the problems. I'll probably put a hopper under there, I think, to pick up all the items, because at the moment I'm just getting so much stuff here. So I could put a hopper under there where they're standing, and then put a chest here to collect them all, and then when the chest is full, I'll move them to another area. Uh, when I'm doing this thing, I usually just eat the rotten flesh, because you use up a lot of food just hitting them. Okay, I found... I need to stand over this way from about here on. We'll activate the spawner. At the moment, doesn't sound like they're spawning. I can't hear them, but I've just turned the sound down too. But I think it's around here. I need to be here or closer to the wall here for them to spawn. Uh, sometimes, if it's night outside, then I find they don't spawn as much. That's the one major problem. But you can see once they start spawning, there's a fairly good stream coming through. And as I said, I haven't caught any villagers yet, but I haven't got the potion or the golden apple with me at the moment either. So, when you see one, you can just... Yeah, none's going to come through. I may put a platform here for me to stand on so it's a bit easier to actually see when there's a zombie up there because at the moment the angle I'm looking up which isn't the best I don't think I still don't know why they're fighting to move that way it's almost as if they they've see another way to get to me through there it's very odd Anyway, I'm going to play with this some more. You see if I've already got over 30 levels, so I may I may do some enchanting with something. I don't know what I've got to enchant. That iron sword is just from the zombies that I've killed. Actually, all of this stuff here is from the zombies I've just killed while they've been working on this, which is quite a lot. You get a ton of rotten flesh. You get the armor. Most of it's rubbish, it's leather, gold. Sometimes you get an iron sword, but it's usually very weak. Uh, but it, if you want the enchantments, like these gold boots, projectile protection 4, feather falling 4, they wouldn't be bad if you didn't want to make them. But I've already got a pair of feather falling 3 diamond boots, so I wouldn't swap them out just for the extra protection, extra feather falling be more likely to try to do a book and do it that way but anyway I think we'll finish there I'll leave that for today and I'll catch everyone next time bye